this homemade amplifier I made made it like back in 2004 yeah but I never got around to making a video of it until now what well, why well it was in the bottom of a pile of junk put his light on so I can get better lighting on it let me tell you first of this homemade amplifier I made built it into an old speaker box tore the vent off because I thought it looked cool the speaker here is not a and probably a kind of speaker for the use of this. It'll have the most tinny sound you ever heard in your life. Because I put a mid-range speaker in here for some reason. I guess I thought it would be cool the tinny sound it would give out. I wish I didn't use a mid-range. It looks kind of weird, but the, the the cone is in one piece. It doesn't have any, like, bad holes in it or anything. It's all in one piece. You know. And... It will sound really tinny, but still, you can hear how it is. Playing for my super scope. Very loud, very loud sound. Look on the back of it here. Look on the side. Push the diaphragm out so I'm going to get a lot more bass. Okay, right there at the bottom is a preamplifier. Right An audio transformer on there and two transistors. Transistors here. One of them is a two and three oh five five. The other one, uh, I think it's like two something two oh five five. Wait, let's rewind that some. I actually recorded this techno in the car. My brother was my brother was driving his pickup truck, and I used this recorder and put it up to the speaker in the car and recorded it. I mean, look at this, it's a power supply for the, just for the preamp right here. And there's two transformers, one for the power amp and one for the preamp because I built them at separate times. I really just had this with no preamp, with just the main amp, but I wanted to make it more sensitive so I put that preamp in there. Distortion sound is because the speaker is terrible. This is why I have the tone down all the way. Let's see how low that volume can be very low and sound different by pushing on the speaker a different way.
Okay. Now, I well, we could try plugging in a microphone if I can find one of that size jack around the most messy area. I mean, if you look at this area. This was like a bunch of blurry, well, not blurry anymore, junk that was taken out of over there. And what was my brother's room upstairs here? Um, we're going to be cleaning all this stuff out of there. My brother's going to be used what was his guest room. And I'm going to be setting up a bunch of shelves up in there and putting up vintage audio. Then I can actually be able to set up all my stereos. Okay, a microphone. I need to find a... Here, one. This should work. Oh, uh, that's a case to the Channel Master tape recorder. The weird, the weird kind of cartridge one. My place is so messy. Caught in the lens cap of the camera. Okay. Plug in this. Oh, I don't want feedback. Turn that down. I want the feedback to go extreme. I guess. Oh, there it goes. Okay. To be able to get it work good with the microphone, I have the volume put all the way up. Okay, I am speaking right into the microphone here. Hopefully the camera is focused. You can see me, cassette master here. I'm speaking in the public address speaker. Hear my voice come through the speaker. So you know you got the tape recorder, you know how it goes. Set the camera up on here, and put uh, on a show. <laughs> I am starting to act in my pop waves. Hopefully, you can see this is an Ampex cassette tape in the case. Pick it out. Here it is, out of a case. It go great with my Ampex Micro 24, being any original tape from that. Earth. I can beatbox into it. Fun speaking through this public address. This is my hope you enjoyed the video.